Hi guys, hope you're well. So today we're going to go over the uppercut and different ways in which you can land it. But before we do that, we're going to start off with our warm up. Thirty squat jumps. If you cannot do squat jumps, do regular squats. Alright, shoulder rotations, rotating the shoulders backwards. Okay, now rotating the shoulders forwards. As an alternative, stand still and bring your heels to your hands without the running motion. As an alternative, stand still and bring your knees to your hands without the bounce. If these are too difficult, break the movements down individually without the jump in between. All right, non-stop straight punching. Remember to bring your hands back to your face after you throw the punch. When throwing the uppercuts, make sure you engage your shoulders. As an alternative, stand still and bring your inner foot to your hands without the bounce. As an alternative to bouncing whilst you punch, stand still when punching. Oh, no, no. 
As an alternative, do the slow hands motion while walking on the spot. Okay, shadow boxing. Visualize an opponent in front of you. All right, great stuff. Warm up's done. The uppercut, like most shots, can be aimed for either the head or for the body. You can also throw an uppercut with your back hand or your lead hand. You may want to bend down at the knee slightly to give yourself more leverage when throwing that shot. Bend slightly at the knees to get more power into the shot. When throwing the uppercut as a counter shot, it's important to get your head off the line first. So if you imagine a shot coming in towards you, you move your head off the line, you've got your hand here and you come up with the uppercut there with the rear hand. Same thing with the lead hand, you get your head off the line here and you come up in between with your uppercut with the lead hand. So before you throw your shot, you're gonna drop your shoulder. So if I'm gonna throw it with my rear hand, I'm gonna drop my front shoulder here and then throw my shot. If I'm gonna throw it with my lead hand, I drop my back shoulder here, and I come up with the shot. So do that with me. We're gonna drop our shoulders here, come up with the shot, here, come up with the shot. Drop that shoulder, bring the shot up. Drop that shoulder, bring the shot up. Again, you'll see here, drop my shoulder, bring the shot up. 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 Visualize slipping an oncoming shot and then countering with the rear hand uppercut. Visualize slipping an oncoming shot and then countering with your lead hand uppercut.
All right, so similar to the rear hand uppercut as a counter shot to the head, your throat, you're slipping off the line at the same time, just like before. However, this time, instead of throwing a shot to the head, you're now throwing it to the lower target, which is the body. Simple. So do it with me nice and slowly. Slip, then we let that shot off here. Visualize slipping an oncoming shot and throwing a counter backhand uppercut to the body. You may not have the opportunity to slip before you throw the uppercut or squat down slightly before you throw the uppercut. So this is what I would call an arm shot. So in that instance, you go for speed over power. Throw both your rear and lead hand uppercut as quick as you can using only your arms. Okay, so this round we're going to do shadow boxing for one round, doing all different types of, up of uppercuts. This round of shadow boxing, uppercuts only, uppercuts to the head and uppercuts to the body. Try and put a combination of different uppercuts together. Okay, this round of shadow boxing, every third shot needs to be an uppercut. So for example, jab, jab, uppercut. Backhand, hook, uppercut. So every third shot needs to be an uppercut. Go slowly if you need to, until you can build up, build up some pace. Remember, every third shot has to be an uppercut. Third round of shadow boxing, you can only throw counter shots, and the counter shot combination has to start with an uppercut. Remember, you're throwing a counter shot combination that has to start with your uppercut. Visualize an opponent throwing shots at you that you need to counter.
Bonus round for an uppercut on the back foot. Let's go. The best boxers are able to throw punches whilst moving backwards. Remember to throw a variation of different types of uppercuts. Okay, time for the workout. 15 Spider-Man push-ups. When your arms are fully extended, bring your alternate knee to the outside of your elbow. As an alternative, do regular push-ups or push-ups on your knees if necessary. Okay, next exercise, 15 hand release push-ups. Make sure you bring your chest all the way to the floor before releasing your hands. Okay, 15 regular push-ups. If necessary, feel free to do the push-ups on your knees. Okay, you should be really feeling it by now. 15 tricep dips. If you need to, bend your knees to make it slightly less challenging. Okay, 10 squat thrusts. Take your time on every repetition and don't rush it. Straight into 20 mountain climbers. Come on, feel the burn. All right, 15 split squats, right leg. Keep your back straight at all times. To help with your balance, focus on a point on the wall opposite during the exercise. If this exercise is too difficult or you have an injury, do regular squats. Alright, 15 split squats, left leg this time. Remember to keep your back straight and focus on the point of the opposite wall. Twenty-five floor touch squat jumps. As an alternative to doing squat jumps, do regular squats with a floor touch.
Alright, time for a real burner. 10 squats with a lateral squat wall. Once you have taken your initial squat, take 4 steps in the squat position to your left and then 4 steps in the squat position to your right. Come on, give this exercise all you've got. You should be really feeling the burn on this one. Come on, let's get it in. Alright, 10 pulse squats. Once in the squat position, pulse 5 times. If 5 pulses are too challenging, do 2 or 3. Alternatively, if 5 pulses are not enough, do between 8 and 10 pulses. Alright, time for some core work. 30 flutter kicks. Let's go. Do not let your heels touch the floor. Okay, straight into 30 side to side flutter kicks. Still keeping your feet in the air. Alright, 20 crunch kicks. Keep your hands on either side to help you balance. Ten slow reduction leg raises. Bring your legs down slowly, keeping your core engaged and do not let your heels touch the floor. Keep your core engaged the whole time, moving your legs up and down in slow motion. Keep your legs as straight as possible with minimal bend in the knees.
straight into 10 regular leg raises. Do not let your heels touch the floor. Feel the burn, come on. Keeping your legs as straight as possible with minimal bend in your knees. Alright guys, we're almost at the finish line. 35 sit-ups. Don't let your shoulders touch the floor. Okay guys, final exercise, let's finish strong, 30 burpees, let's go. Excellent work guys, well done.